You guys asked for it, so I went ahead and decided to do another 1 million MT giveaway for the month of February. All you guys have to do to enter is use code BIO2K at checkout at NBA2King.com. Once you guys do that, just be sure to send it to me on Twitter in the DM so I know that you are entered into the giveaway. They also walk you through on the site to potentially how to avoid a ban, so be sure to check that out as well when you guys are posting your cards. Today, we are going to be talking about how you guys can prepare for Season 5 of NBA 2K23, my team. If you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. And I want you guys to double smash this like button if you guys want me to start a brand new, never been done before, no money spent series. And I'm not talking about a series that everybody does. I'm talking I have some ideas that I think are fresh that you guys are really going to enjoy. So if you guys want to see that, smash the like button on this and comment down below no money spent w or something like that let's get in this video though and really show you guys how to prepare for the next season and really how to succeed in the next season first things first you guys obviously got to prepare and talk about you know what challenges are obviously going to be you know obviously resetting clutch time triple threat online offline clutch time online offline unlimited limited all of that stuff is resetting guys everything all of the awards, everything is going back to the beginning. We're going to be seeing new players on boards, maybe. We're going to be seeing new rewards on boards, maybe. Point is, all of that is resetting. So if you guys want to catch up on any of this, I highly recommend that now is the time you guys go ahead and do that. So if you guys are close to something in Unlimited, if you guys are close to something in Clutch Time that you guys really want, I highly recommend that you guys do that. So whether it is the tokens, whether it is the prize balls, whether it is the Hall of Fame badges, make sure you guys get those out of the way. There is a lot of value in here. I'm not saying you guys have to cram everything in in this final couple days because I don't really think that anything is that crazy and that much worth it. But if you are a straight up no money spent player, by the way, this series that I'm talking about is going to be starting fresh from season five. So it's not like it's we're going to have to worry about anything outside of that. But like I said, we are going to be, you know, focusing on, um, you know, everything moving forward. So going into season five, if you are playing this season, I really, there is a lot obviously that is good, especially if you look into the vault and everything, there are some players that are free that you can go pick up like Obi, like Daquan Cook. But again, nothing really too, too crazy there. The biggest thing I want to talk about right out the gate is going to be the agendas and the all-star showcase event. Guys, Russell Westbrook is available. Make sure you guys do go ahead and get all of these cards done for him. At least I do believe Westbrook. Actually, I don't even know. Is what I feel like Westbrook has to be available, right? Like, I'm not tripping out Westbrook has to be available. But it's, like, kind of wild because I don't think I've seen one person make a video on Westbrook, which is kind of funny. But either way, make sure that if you guys want a free Opal and a lot of these free players, make sure you guys get these done. I still do think it is worth it because these players are still really solid going into the All-Star event. I mean, you have Q Rich, you have Carl Malone, you have Joe Harris, which, again, spare me the Carl Malone thing. I'm just saying it's a free pink diamond, but Dinwiddie's obviously really solid. So there is a lot of good cards that are lying in here that you guys can go ahead and get. And then you guys also do have um, this set right here which does give you some all-star jerseys and stuff, and it does actually end up giving you a free Hall of Fame badge as well. Hey guys, if you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. He is 100% legit and reliable, so be sure to go hit him up now. You guys are literally still looking to catch up on levels and everything. There is a ton of XP. Now, if you guys don't want Zach Levine, that is fine. I still think he is worth getting, especially if you are close. I'm not saying go out of your way and get a ton of XP, but if you're still, you know, playing this game and grinding different things for fun, whether it's online, offline, I mean, I still recommend getting Levine. It's a free card but at least get these hall of fame badges guys i mean there's free mt lying in these hoff badges literally everywhere so make sure that you guys do that single player challenges i mean again you guys could like i was just talking about with hall of fame badges there is the zach levine signature challenge and if you are on next gen you do have the activity challenge which again more diamond shoes more hall of fame badges more things just to kind of give you guys more mt going into the skills challenges this Kobe Bryant stuff. Get this done, guys. Again, same thing. Free MT lying in these Hall of Fame badges with diamond shoes and everything like that. It's Again, it may not be anything crazy, but same thing with these packs. If you guys are going to do these, I'm going to be honest with you guys, at least do the Stellar one. Stellar is the most important one if you're going to do any of them because this was the one that has the boosted odds. This pack does have boosted odds on it still. They can't go back and change it. So if you guys need MT, especially before the next season, grind this pack out because you never know. You guys could very likely pull a Galaxy Opal. You may not be able to sell it, but it's still going to be a free Galaxy Opal and a free juice pack that's just lying in this game waiting to be opened. 
I would tell you guys spend your tokens when you guys can i'm pretty sure these these guys are going to be here for the rest of the year if i had to guess it really does not look like they are going to be going anywhere there is no timer anywhere so if you guys are looking to pick up literally any of these guys now or i want to say now would be the time but they're going to be here like i said so i guess technically you don't really have to stress about it but everything else in the token market is virtually useless um unless there is yeah Everything else is virtually useless. So like I said, that's that's basically what you guys want to go for. The centerpieces are still here, but don't even stress that. And then you do have this flash forward thing, which again, this is not even worth it anymore. Literally the only ones that you would want are these bottom three, but you're not going to, you'll probably get, actually, actually that's not true. I think you can get literally anybody in this pack and have it be worth it. So if you really want to spend your tokens, you can, but I would save it because you never know what they're going to drop in the next season. Again, same thing. There is no ex like expiration thing on this. So I don't think they're going anywhere literally anytime soon now for the most important part your collection guys this is the time to go through and sell everything that you guys are not already using this is where again you guys want to clean house and the reason why is collector level in my opinion this year has been made completely useless like literally completely useless last year it was so good because of the hall of fame badges but this year they've given out hall of fame badges like they were candy I mean, literally, you can. There's juice cards literally everywhere. The cards that you get throughout collector level are not really worth it. And by the time that they actually drop, they are not worth it. The person that is literally in front of the entire card collecting thing is currently at 1,500 cards out of 3,500. It's not worth it. I don't care what they're going to drop. They could make a 99 everything Yao Ming that is 8,000 feet tall. It is not worth it. It would be funny for the memes, but it's not worth it. So clear house. Get rid of every card you're not using, every player you're not using. Go down here, guys. I've talked about this in the past as well. Coach cards hold value in this game. Now, they may not hold as much value as they used to because they used to hold some dumb amounts of value. But you guys can see. I mean... 30k for eric spolstra these ruby coaches still sitting at around almost 10k mt probably going to be able to sell for around 8,000 mt but the point is these are ruby coaches guys that still hold value so this is where i'm saying you know there's stuff in your collection that will hold value more than you guys realize so clean house get rid of your coaches get rid of your playbooks get rid of your jerseys you guys know i've talked about these courts in the past their value probably did go down only because tokens are not nearly as valuable but they probably still do hold something towards you know people that are still trying to collect tokens and everything so i mean even for a thousand a piece even sometimes a little bit more as you guys can see by the 11 or 2011 bulls floor eh, you could probably pick that one up sell it for 2k if i'm being honest but again there is value hidden in these collections guys make sure you guys are using them or using it to your advantage badges same thing go through see what each badge goes for if you guys are literally just letting badges rot in your collection i don't know what you're doing because badges do hold value like even if it is a thousand mt it still holds value you have 10 badges that sell for a thousand mt each that is 10k mt just sitting in your collection for nothing shoe boost get rid of shoe boost that you're not using guys there's a ton of this stuff that literally does not matter i'm telling you guys and just to make your guys' life easier because somehow there are people that don't know that this exists if you guys go to the top of your collection here and tap on search and you hit start it literally brings up every card you have in your collection so this can literally just be a quick way for you guys to literally clear house on everything that you have in your collection this is how you guys are going to stock up on mt right before the new season i highly recommend that you guys do it because like i said the new season starts soon and you guys are going to want to be prepared the auction's also going down because of these super packs so again even more incentive for you guys to really succeed going into season five thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and yeah peace